time to make a conveyor store run. Why? Because it's RV organization time. In our last video, we introduced you to Ciamara and Frank, professional organizers and small business owners of Lily's Organizing. They're here in Tampa Bay this week, helping us get the Airstream organized for the arrival of our new little wanderer coming in just a few short months. So far, they've determined that we have a shoe addiction and a shopping problem, but along the way, we've learned tons of new organizational tips. And there are plenty more in this video as Ciamara teaches us how to shop for organizers and we set up baby Fernandez's space in the Airstream. Everybody online thinks I need a washer and dryer. But you're not everybody, you're Lauren. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. New storage solution. Borderline making the cut. So we got stuff for the bathroom, stuff yeah. for the pantry. I like the ones that we saw over there. Yeah, no. really cute. Well, I'm going to show you the baby section. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> but this is, a, and you can fit so much here. Like for the clothes and stuff, and it's so flimsy and it's easy to pull out. Yeah, I love to this do. to replace that. They freaking painter! These are so cute too. I know, I know. This is another piece. They're so cute. Over here. This is another. This they sell this band that you can put it in the Earthstream, and you can create like your own system. Oh, that's cool. And put like all the little things. So I'm just showing you different systems Options, that yeah. way. As the baby girl, I see how this one is longer. Yeah. So you need this, and then this goes here. That's really cool. So this is another item that I recommend. Me and Frank, we got one for each of us. Cause like for all your daily Cord chargers problems. and problems, this is the best. We need two of those. And it doesn't take that much space. Yeah, I love it. Okay. <laughs> so this is what I have under my sink. Okay. That's nice. So my thought process is, is usually it's paper that Daniel has some type of like admin life thing to do um, with it. And he doesn't have a lot of time for admin life things. So he can't like throw it away immediately. It's like, it's like his pile of things that he needs to go through when he gets some extra time. But what happens is it keeps getting put above our, uh, where the DVD player is. And so there are random pieces of paper. As soon as we travel, we open that thing up and you have a waterfall of paper. So if there's a drop zone, even though it's a bad habit, it's a contained bad habit. Mm. How do you call those? An organized mess? It's an organized mess. Okay. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> because what's going to happen is when you give a room or a home for things that tend to get procrastinated, guess More what? Gets you give it in permit, yes. You're giving him permission to actually add to the mess. So you should think about that. I don't really think it's my face that you need to look at right now. <laughs> solid, <laughs> solid advice over here. I'm just gonna say that I concur with this decision. So you're gonna clean up your paper mess like moving forward as it goes? Not about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about that. We're gonna talk about that. I'm just saying that I concur, and that is the end. That's the end of it. Yeah. All right, drop yeah. it over paper. Going yeah. on, this is <laughs> so this is one of the top items that I recommend for Earthstreams or any RV, because you can do so much with it. Yeah. Right? You can, people have even used them for shoes, because, like, especially, like, Oh, um, yeah, flops. sure. You put that here. And it sticks. Yep. Very cool. You yes. put that in the bathroom. You can put that stuff there. Put the toothbrush. Yeah, stuff that's right neat. This is like my commanding center on the fridge. But then you can create got calendar, pens, your own. And then if this had my I name, love the can, idea of pins. Yep. So we put the pins in there. Like that. Okay, so I already saw Daniel like eyeing this little board. I did, because that's just like something you can so write. So then you this is what you do. You buy that and that goes 
in there. Okay, it sticks on there. It sticks in there, you see? Okay. And you still have, so you would do that, and then here you put the pins. Okay. So but this is the only one that has the command. So I'll do this. Bridge step. Best part of a refresh, you only need one basket worth of stuff. What you going? Going this, way. Going this way, bud. made it back to the Airstream. It's time to unload all the awesome stuff. Yay! Okay, nice. So, so you can, can put it on there. But I recommend using this. Yeah, obviously. Method. Bye bye camera stuff. Hello, cute diaper spot. I love it. This um, stuff is gonna have to go over here. Oh, that's in the truck. We need to get that out of the truck then. The magic labeler. Yes, this is about. I have a few labelers, but this is by far my favorite. And the one that I recommend if you decide to get a label to get. It's a minty, it's a mini printer. Yes. What is it called? The Q Plus. It comes with an app. Oh. Some magic is happening here. Oh, look at that. And here, Lauren, you get to put the first label. Yay! Oh, this is so fun! Bathing stuff for baby. How cute is that? Hey, this technically doesn't go in here. That's a passy. Yeah. So we have to do that. Frank, did we check these before I wash them to make sure they fit? Yeah. You did not check them. And I did not check them. But well, we can. You can. We can definitely do that. I'm really going to cry if they don't. Woo. This could, one more of these, right? Because this one goes here, right? Oh, actually, look. This wasn't on our list at the container store, but we found this to replace this. Because in tiny living, especially when you're in an RV, having things on the wall and not on the floor is amazing. Making my kitchen more efficient with the canting. Cece, I cannot deal with how much I love this space now. It is so much more functional than it was before. We just didn't know. So cool. So I'm going to show you a few ways for the same thing, especially with the baby's clothes. It's so tiny. You can fit a lot of clothes if you file fold, okay? And it's different ways. So for the one see something. You want to come there. You want to come here. little and then and then right we'll, so that's mm -hmm. one so the trick is if it stands like that you did it right then you did it right all right yeah well this because of this is longer and you're gonna play with it until you get it right yeah because baby clothes is so tiny Okay, yep. You can even go like that, but we're gonna. Okay. Then you put them like this in the container. Perfect. And I think another way. It depends on the clothes. Yeah. You made it stand. 
stand up. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. I can make mine stand up like yours did, Samara. I feel like I've gotten pretty good at file folding mm -hmm. since the last time we hung out. There you go. Yeah, there we go. And now you can put it there. Cute. Oh, and we are ready. The nursery is ready for the baby. I would call it Lauren's file, uh, I think. Um, but Rat's scary. nest of wires? <laughs> <laughs> like like Lauren's that? rat the nest of uh, I know, wires. I right? Yeah. You think it's, it's me perfect. with all the tech, yeah. but it's definitely Lauren on this I, one. I know. I mean, she's, she's <laughs> caught me off. Caught me by surprise. I know, right? She's such a hoarder of hordes. I know, such it's crazy. a hoarder. It's crazy. Unlike the last time where it was totally me. Frank! <laughs> oh, it's such a beautiful day out. Oh, look. Team Lauren! You're Team Lauren. Yes, Team Lauren. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I, can, I think I could sway the <laughs> sway him here. Hold on. That's cheating. Uh, what? what? Team Daniel. Uh, what? Team Daniel. Look over here. <laughs> <laughs> if you boys are gonna start drinking, there are some boxes y'all probably need to be unpacking in the back of the truck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now it is time to tackle the stroller. I just want to preface this portion of the video by saying that we are absolutely not sponsored by this brand. It's just a company that we chose. We have no idea if it's any good. We're certainly going to find out. Got some good news. Um, this is not all the boxes. One stroller? One very cool stroller. And an infant car seat. And a car seat. <laughs> all in one, but in 97 boxes. Hold on. For, for, for one baby, right? Now we have all the boxes. See, you outrun yourself there. I you? know, right? <laughs> go big or go home. Go big or go home. We spent a good three months shopping for strollers. <laughs> and car seats. And car seats. Doors and car seats. Oh my. Looks like this is. We got this particular stroller because you can add a second seat. So because we plan, if everything goes as planned, having a second, you can add a second seat. So you can have a toddler seat and an infant seat. Thinking ahead, I like it. Exactly. Yeah, so rather than have like two strollers or buy another stroller, this is like, it starts with an infant, goes to toddler, and then you have toddler plus infant. So if everything goes well, we should be able to use this for several years, which would be the goal. This is just the stroller seat? Okay, there's other parts there. I feel like I'm putting together something from Ikea at this point. This is part number 87. Now let's remember, this is just for one baby. <laughs> now the pot looks a little bit smaller. <laughs> hey dear, come see what one baby stroller looks like. Wait. For one baby. Okay. Wow. Um, because it's heavy, I'm gonna guess this is the car seat. Actually, all of it's heavy. I'm not lie. Yeah, all of this is. It feels like a pretty substantial car seat, but I feel like all of the car seats are substantial. Lauren has two nephews and a niece, and their car seats, well, when we were trying to take them out, one, no clue what we're doing. But two, I feel like I spent like half an hour trying to get the car seat out, and then I learned about this that has like an interlocking system. You just go and pops out and I thought to myself that's probably gonna be a lot better on my old back so we opted for the simpler connect interlocking whatever you want to call it option oh so like, man uh, this is like so cool like I want a baby look look how cool this is they didn't have this stuff when we had babies can we have another baby they got so many cool things for babies nowadays it's like like what do all these things do? I don't know, but there's gotta be like a, there's a, 
So the base is supposed to spin or something. I don't know. Well, I guess maybe you have to charge it or something? I guess maybe, like, yeah. in theory, this is supposed to make every parent's life a lot simpler because you don't have to fight with the seat as much. You can just... Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's how you take the car seat out of the car. Like that. You're making me feel old right now. Like, when did this happen? <laughs> like, look at this thing. Oh! <laughs> baby safe. Baby safe. Nothing to worry about over here. Safe Nothing baby. to worry about. Got quick hands. You did not here. see that. <laughs> quick hands. You did not see that. That's why we're training right now. Ta da! <laughs> and they both turn. Push both, down. You mean both sides? Both. Nope. This is just the green on one side. Yeah. The red's on the other side, and they both lock up. Oh, so the lock locks both wheels at the same time. Yep. And the green unlocks both wheels. I mean, green means go, just like right pedal, red, left what? pedal, green. Stop. Break and go. Break and gas. Break and gas. Have you seen that before? Never. It's <laughs> awesome. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Thing. There's a little notch here. Like a release? I don't know if it's a release, but... Oh. Okay, all right. Oh! What? What? <laughs> what did you... What did you just figure out? <laughs> you made it... You're like, okay, I'm done. Boom. <laughs> Problem solved. What is, what is, what did we miss? There's a, oh, there's a release in the bottom. There's a release. Oh. Are you in or oh. further? <laughs> Man. Okay. I need, wow. a, I need a drink. A release on the bottom. This is just like food tray. Yep, You're that's like, a food tray. I guess it goes here. Okay, you figured out how to take them out? Right, yep. which is the, these clips here. Come here, little barber. Oh my God. Bam. And then. And then you put that where? Think. Now I know why there's three bags. One for this, yeah. one for the stroller, and okay. then one for the car seat. So this will be the official car seat. Okay. Base. That's exciting. For the car. And then. <laughs> The stroller. Now, when you're transitioning from this to the car, you literally only have to do ah, and bring it to the vehicle. Is it this way or this way? Cool. That way. There you go. <laughs> and then you would fold this up and put it away in your car. Okay, I love it. Now, when he gets bigger, this. Okay. Go to oh, this. Is it lot on lot? Yes. So green means go. That's clever. Okay. Push, you gotta push it down. No, nope. you gotta push it in. Oh, you okay. Go. And then the red means stop. <laughs> That's very intuitive. Levers on the side, both sides. Easy. So you make sure you bring them up. Put it on sideways. You rotate till you hear the clicks. And. And we're in. Now you're a toddler. <laughs> now. So we don't even have to keep you this don't need with that. us right now. Yes, for right now you don't need to keep that one. You would mainly use this one for an infant. Okay. Right? Up until uh, so many pounds and, okay. and, and, and weight, right? And then you would transition him to this. Once he gets bigger and mm -hmm. he can hold his head up and stuff like that. So for now, this is the one that you're going to be most concerned about. Okay. Right? So we can All take this one out. That one can be stowed away. Okay. Is it a printed calendar? A printed calendar, yeah. Anything or the one that I like is magnetic. Right. Okay. Okay, so the most important tip is fall in love with empty spaces because leaves you room to grow. That's right. <laughs> Especially now with the baby coming in, you want to have room to grow. So that's why we left you all that space empty. Yeah. And then as you start getting stuff, you can start pulling this up. <laughs> Yeah, I love you. Thank you so much for your help oh, today. Yes.
This was exciting. I know. It's going to be so fun. Yes. So, what's our homework? Homework. Well, number one, get you an actual calendar. Okay. Because digital calendars are good for work, but they're not good for things for the house. Okay. Right? Fair. So, that way you can schedule every so often you want to go through your stuff. Okay. Right? You yeah. want to go through the baby stuff. You want to go through your office stuff. Just like the way you guys are doing with the pantry, which yeah. you guys are doing pretty good, you want to schedule the different areas of the earth stream, and that's going to keep the clutter coming yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. That okay. seems totally fair. What do you think about that truck of ours? Yeah, I think we're going to have to do another video. <laughs> But we made good progress today. Yes, you made a lot of progress. Actually, I am very proud of you guys. You guys kept with everything up except, you know, finding room for the baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. and the shoes. So, um. Daniel. <coughs> <coughs> one of the things that you guys can improve is the whole one in, one out. Oh, right? one in, one out. I thought one in and out. Yeah. Three in, one out. No, no, sir. It's one in, one out. <laughs> oh, I bet it's all backwards. Because you guys had 18 pairs of shoes, and now you got 22? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. One in, one out. One in, one out. Okay. And fall in love with empty spaces. Fall in love with empty spaces, one in, one out. Yes. Got it. <laughs> so this time, you guys actually don't have that much homework because you guys did pretty good. It was just creating space for the baby. Yeah. Which you ended up with a lot of empty space for the baby. You got okay. this whole thing under there, under the bed. Right. One empty bin. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. And pretty soon the truck. And pretty soon the truck. Yeah. For the strollers See. and the car seats. But this wouldn't be a Wander Local episode without us talking about the fact that y'all are a local business too. And you do this not just for us, but for the rich and famous and also... <laughs> Obviously, other cool air streamers and people who are living in tiny spaces. So, tell us a little bit about Lily's. So, we took the business on the road. It has been less than a month. Yeah, just a few weeks now. So, from here, we're going to Miami. Then, from there, we're going to Key West. We're going to stay in Florida for a few months. And then, the plan is to take it to every single state. That's so exciting. Yeah. Can't and wait. make more people's lives better like yes. you've done for us <laughs> because being organized like gives you time back yeah it's changed your life yeah it really yeah. does yeah well thank you so much for calling us again we had had so much fun today as always a blast like, a blast usually people call us when the baby's already here so it was perfect to be able to help you guys before the baby got here after our amazing 24 hour organizational makeover, we are so excited to show you the newest changes. And some of the old ones, because in case you haven't seen the last video, the work that Lily's organizing does is really incredible. You'll notice that it's a little harder for me to get around here than it used to be. The way we store our clothes in the Airstream is something that CC helped us create in our original video. But these bins are genius. And if you don't know anything about file folding, YouTube that. Previously, our bed was a little bit of a nightmare under here, which is a great spot for storage. But now, check this out. We have all sorts of empty space to take advantage of when baby gets here. Not to mention, Daniel's camera equipment now has a home. Grogu has a home now. That's so exciting. I love it. So we don't know what life is going to be like with a third wanderer on this journey. So. Empty spaces are kind of awesome. Before we get to that, one of the things that we did in our first organizational except extravaganza is we put these simple human soap dispensers in place. We did this here in the bathroom and in the shower. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because when you live in an RV and you're moving on a regular basis, Anything that goes on counter space is something that you're going to have to pick up and store somewhere when you move. So we love these because it is a time saver. But the only tweak we really made in the bathroom was some basic storage stuff down here. And this is all about creating a solution that's easy to get to. We had originally used containers that were just extras that I had down here and I couldn't move them in and out. So I love this new solution. And also, I found some cool new containers for some of my makeup that actually works better than what we had created originally. The last change we made in the bedroom bathroom area is to our closet. 
And that's simply going through all of our stuff and doing another round of purging. We even managed to come up with a completely empty bin that we have absolutely no idea what we're gonna do with yet, but that's kind of the point. One of the first and most efficiency saving things that we've done recently is add these cool little magnetic containers to the refrigerator and they're awesome. We keep papers, pens, notepads here and it's been a really efficient use of space. This is another thing that CC did for us and taught me how to maintain in the first video. These little bins fit perfectly in my freezer and mean I know exactly what I have, which saves me a lot of money on groceries. So if you cook a lot in your RV, getting one of these is a really nice space saver. We actually carried a knife block for like the first eight months we RV left. I mean, come on. It even says pasta on it. Living like this is amazing. We didn't change a whole lot throughout the rest of the kitchen other than simply just confirming that this space already worked. But if you're nosy like me, I'd wanna see what the inside of these look like. One of the things that has changed about our lives since baby has been on board is the number of supplements that I have to take. So we created a better solution for that. Previously, these were all in bottles. Now they're in convenient little bags that are labeled and I can fit a heck of a lot more in here. This is a game changer. This bin is dedicated to the things that we use on a daily basis that don't really have a home, but we need access to quickly. So my purse, Daniel's hat, or hats, Daniel's wallet. This is kind of where they live quickly and easily. This means that we have a lot less just random stuff hanging out. And if you're an Airstream owner specifically, these bins I get a lot of questions about. They are from the container store and you can find them in the office supply section. They come in clear, a whole bunch of other different colors, but this shape that slides down is perfect for accounting for that curve in your Airstream. Pretty legit. This is our space that is more dedicated to our newest addition. You might notice that we've added some pillows and a really pretty blanket here. These were inspired after we saw the Pottery Barn Airstream that we didn't want to live in one of those, but we loved the accents. So we may or may not have copied that a little bit. Our game plan is that we're gonna put baby Fernandez's bed right here. And we're gonna create a storage solution underneath it. So right now, you can see, we haven't gotten rid of our cool air filter thing yet. It's gonna go, but we're gonna be putting our diaper bag under here and adding some additional storage. But our biggest change is baby Fernandez's closets. We have created almost completely empty space to add all of baby's things. So from blankets to onesies to clothing, to to sleep, accessories, shoes, all of the cute things. They're gonna be going right up here for a quick and easy access. In our quest to find more empty space, we also removed the uh, pillows that were originally stored under here and put those in the back storage compartment of the Airstream under the bed. So this now has space where we can store other things to come. Right now, we just threw a blanket in there. We also found one secret storage space that I'm so excited about. This was secret space we had no idea even existed in our Airstream. Underneath the recliners, we've stored stuff that we just don't usually need on a regular basis. So we're 100% ready for baby Fernandez's arrival now, right, B? <laughs> Not even close. So we definitely have more work to do. One of those things being the truck, because that really super cool stroller we showed you, well, we don't really have a good spot for that yet. We've got nowhere to put it yet, except for inside the Airstream, which doesn't work when we travel. So a lot of recommendations came from you guys about getting a cap for the truck bed. So if you have a favorite one, please, please, please comment below with your favorite. Because we're definitely in the market. But don't worry, as we figure that out, We'll be happy to show you our organizational solutions there too. But until next week, friends, make sure you wander local this week. As you know, it's good for the soul.